We've got an update on Deke McCaskill's health following a nasty wreck he was involved in at the Thanksgiving Classic at Southern National Motorsports Park yesterday. This update comes from his daughter, Ashlyn McCaskill. Courtney posted on Facebook, this is what she wrote. Thank you to everyone for all of the calls, texts, and prayers for my dad over the last several hours. Following the wreck from today's race, he has a concussion, but all other scans were clear. Doctor wants him to follow up with a neurologist this week and get plenty of rest. We appreciate everyone's thoughts and prayers and are so thankful that he is okay. So that is absolutely excellent news that he is doing well and all of the scans were clear. It sucks that he has the concussion. Hopefully that he will indeed get the rest, make a full recovery and get back behind the wheel for the Cars Tour next year in 2024. He is one of the toughest competitors on the Cars Tour. He went down at South Boston earlier uh, this year and we want to get him back behind the wheel and see him out there doing what he loves to do. So, but before we move on, let's kind of just show you the wreck that he was involved in. We got a couple angles here from Racing America. Here is the live version of it. We're coming to a green flag restart here. Uh, Ronnie Bassett Jr. and Brendan Butterbean Queen leading them to the green flag. Ronnie Bassett Jr., not sure what happens here. It looks like he missed a shift or something, but he doesn't get up to speed. It backs everyone up behind him. You can see Deke is there in his 0-8 car uh, in the fourth row. Uh, and it does not end well for him as he goes flying into the inside retaining wall. Uh, let's take a look here. You can see Bassett Jr. backs up, Burroughs backs up, everyone checks up, Deke gets turned into the, the eight car there, and then I think he hits the other inside wall uh, right there as well. Collects about 10, 10 cars in, in total, uh, almost a third of the field, over a third of the field. Uh, of the 28 car field. So here is another look from a different angle that we have from Racing America, which you can watch the replay on Racing America. It was one of the best late model stock races I have seen all year. Definitely up there in the top three, uh, up there with the race at Martinsville, the Valley Star Credit Union 300. Uh, but let's take a look at this angle here. See there, Bassett doesn't get going. Burroughs checks up. One car checks up. Deke has nowhere to go. He gets spun off of Andrew Grady and gets smashed in the front end. He just barely misses that um, that first inside retaining wall and then just destroys the uh, turn one inside retaining wall. So brutal, brutal wreck uh, for Deke McCaskill. Suffered a concussion from that, but everything is uh, everything else aside from that is doing well. We want to keep him in our prayers. Hopefully he makes a full recovery and we get to see him back out there for the 2024 car season and the premier late model stock races that he competes in.